Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Uh, vitamin B12. There's a lot have been said about it and I'd like to set the record straight today. Check out all my books on audible.com. So vitamin B12 is very, very much needed by the body. My vitamin B12 is off the scale. Um, here it is. I'm just going to post it here for a second. It has been for a long time. I don't supplement with vitamin B12, and that's what we're going to get into. Where do we get vitamin B12? If you want to take a vitamin B supplement, um, for the most part, I really don't recommend it. There's two ways you can get vitamin B12. One of them is synthetic, and that one is uh, cyanocobalamin. And then there's methylcobalamin. So um, what's at the heart of vitamin B12 is cobalt. That in is and have it converted into vitamin B12 in the body. So um, now you're left with cyanocobalamin and methylcobalamin. Now, if you got cyanocobalamin, the cyano part is uh, cyanide. So cyanide is the number one method in the world that all these spy agencies like the CIA and uh, MI6 and all these around the world, the Mossad, this is the number one thing they use to kill somebody quietly. Um, and it's because it's highly deadly. I mean, if you take cyanide gas and spray it into somebody's face, they're dead. I mean, they're gone. I mean, a matter of seconds, minutes at the most. So this is a very dangerous thing. So when you eat, when you consume any kind of vitamin B supplement, um, you're taking in cyanide. Cyanide. This is, and you got to. What's going to happen is that cyanide molecule is going to break off into the cobalamin, and then your body can use it as vitamin B12. But now you've got this cyanide molecule sitting in here. You got to get rid of this thing. So somebody says, "Well, this is an extremely small amount." Well, this it's very small. That's right. But I don't want to put cyanide into my body, no matter what. So um, where are you going to get? Uh, so I stay away from that. And they have these vitamin B uh, shots you can take, you know, and it makes you feel good. I would never take an injection of anything um, that would, you know, to be healthy. Um, and uh, it just, I'm totally against it. You, you shouldn't go around supplementing and getting vit shots, injections of vitamin, anything, let alone vitamin B12, because that's going to be the cyanocobalamin time. So you're taking in cyanide into your body. And by the way, you're going right into your blood <laughs> bloodstream when you take the injection. So the other way you get this, you know, you can take it in a, in a gummy, in a capsule. I mean, I've seen all sorts of different ways that, um, that people offer these uh, products, you know, and vitamin B12 supplement with it. Well, um, uh, you know, I would never take one. Now, my, my B12, as I said, and my vitamin B6, are, they're both off the charts. But vitamin B6, um, that is, you know, your brain vitamin. But vitamin B12, you really need this stuff for a lot. If you don't have any, you know, vitamin B12 for a long time, you'll go blind. You'll be very tired. And the side effects are really um, very, very profound. Um, if you close your eyes, you stand on one foot and uh, you close your eyes. And then uh, if you can't stay balanced or you can't touch your nose like that, uh, it's very likely you could have a vitamin B12 deficiency. So uh, that's something to look for. Now, where are you going to get the methylcobalamin? Because that's the natural form. Well, if you look it up online, which I have, and you look at all the different sources, well, it's animals. So you've got to eat an animal to get vitamin B12, so they say. Um, I don't go along with that, as I've said many, many times on this show, that you don't want um, any kind of artificial method of getting any nutrient into your body. Um, and including, you know, something like vitamin B12. So I don't supplement with that. Now, there's nothing wrong with supplement with certain vitamins. B12 is not one of them. So where are you going to get these things? Well, I say for B12, it's going to be spirulina and chlorella, and in particular, spirulina. That's my feeling on that. Now, a lot of people say, well, it's in the wrong form. It's in the analog form, and, you know, your body will not absorb this. Um, I don't know then where I get all my vitamin B12 because the only other source that I really know that will really stimulate B12 are probiotics. Now, I do take a lot of probiotics. I don't uh, take them down three or four probiotics at a time or anything like that. Just, just the average amount, you know, I mean, I take, I take a probiotic right before I eat. And your body will make all those B vitamins. And that's the thing about B vitamins. Your body can make them all. So my two sources for vitamin B12 and for really all the B vitamins would be spirulina and chlorella. 
Um, and then probiotics. Probiotics are really, really effective at that. But I would be very careful. I would really watch out for that uh, cyanocobalamin, which is, if you see that word cyano, it has to do with that cyanide molecule. So I'd really avoid that if I were you. I wouldn't take any vitamin B supplements. I have in the past, but once I learned that about the cyanide molecule, and that's what's going on there, I've avoided it ever since. And as I say, my B12 is very, very high. It's really kind of off the charts here. So, um, you know, they always say it's too high. I don't know if you can get too much vitamin B12. I think it's kind of impossible. Um, B12 and all the B vitamins, you know, are water soluble. So uh, it's the fat soluble ones um, that you really got to be careful of because they could build up in the body over periods of time. Vitamin A, vitamin E, but vitamin B, your body can make those. Um, and actually can make the vitamin D as well. I get my vitamin B's from my spirulina and chlorella and from my probiotics. I recommend you do too. Another thing I recommend you, um, you supplement with is liquid angstrom cobalt. Um, I like the liquid angstrom form because I think it's the most effective. It goes right into the bloodstream. I usually take it with my probiotic, um, but you, that's that, you know, methylcobalamin, so cobalamin, cobalt, that's the molecule in there that you need. Um, so you, you won't be able to make B12, but if you've got the bacteria, the, the friendly bacteria um, from a probiotic or maybe a fermented food um, along with the cobalt. You got those two together, they're ready, and now you're going to be able to make vitamin B12 and, in fact, all your B vitamins. And I would stay away from the uh, vitamin B12 supplements. You'll see cyanocobalamin on every single one of them. Remember, that is the cyanide molecule in there, and uh, that's the thing that's not going to be good for you. And nothing I'm going to be selling anytime soon or ever. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. I'm really interested in your comments, especially about B12 down and below. But I got to tell you something. YouTube really, I spoke about something that you're not supposed to speak about a long time ago. And uh, YouTube just knocked me down. Uh, they gave me a strike and uh, medical misinformation. And, uh, you know, it's just never been the same. I used to get you know, tens of thousands a hit on every video, at least several thousand. And now we get maybe a couple hundred or something. So they totally did monetize me. If you can like and share, and in particular share and leave your comments, it would help out a lot. Dr. Bob, see you next time.